Welcome back to Man Across New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, as shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today, where, of course, day 1001, woo, we, we, we made it to the to one plus um, milestone a thousand. <laughs> what are you in that sentence? I don't know. But yes, of course, yesterday, I hope you enjoyed the Q&A session or what what have you. Um, I haven't checked the comments to see if other people have left um, questions about that sort of thing. I will probably check it, uh, I don't know, maybe Friday. It's, it, I'm, I'm very busy. Um, well, not okay. I'm not very busy. Maybe, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Um, we'll have to see. But I'm going to be kind of busy for the next couple of days as well. So we'll have to see how things go. But anyway, good evening, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, 7 14 p.m. on Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. Uh, Celeste is here. Okay. I know we still need to talk about Little Nightmares 2. Um, like, have my review on it. I'm, I'm pretty sure, at least. Little Nightmares 2. I'm pretty sure I, I, I have not done my Animal Crossing sort of um, review on the game yet. So let me, let me just see. Yeah, I haven't. Okay. Uh, but I'm not going to do that today because I don't really feel like it. I'll probably do that tomorrow instead because now we're, we're going to have a sort of reflection, I suppose, on milestones on like, com and, you know, how how far we've come, you know, commitment maybe is a, well, that's, that's, that's a bit of a, a loaded term, I suppose, for really what I was going for. But yeah, um, just like more meta talk about the meta talk because the, Q, uh, the Q&A was already kind of like a meta talk in the first place. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I haven't read comments in for like ages, and that basically is a sort of just like, it's, it's just not me, you know. And uh, normally I read them on Saturdays, but you know, more recently I've been like sort of slipping out of that habit because it's been kind of busy. But hopefully it's it's only busy for a little bit, and then it'll be not busy for like <laughs> my, my entirety of next week is like completely not busy in the slightest, which would be a good relax recharge period. And by relax and recharge, I mean catch up on all uh, the backlog I have. Um, for my games and that sort of thing um but yeah i wasn't gonna talk oh yeah um today like the new series cosmic express was meant to go up i didn't finish a thumbnail art in time so it has not gone up yet um it's i can't remember how close i am to finishing it you know let, let's open up my drawing tablet we'll see how close i am uh, i'm pretty sure i finished the line art and i'm pretty sure i've colored most things i just haven't colored everything and there's also no shading in cosmic express so that makes it a lot easier um what do I think of a thumbnail art? I think it's fine. I, I don't think it's particularly amazing or anything. I think it's kind of cute, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. And it doesn't, it's not like, you know, Cosmic um, Express is um, quite a minimalist, I suppose, in the style of, um, style in the first place. So, you know, I've had a lot of liberties. But yeah, anyway, sorry. Q&A. The Q&A from yesterday. Uh, what, what else did I really want to say about it? Um... I can't believe how long it was, I suppose, for one thing. <laughs> like, just talking about, you know, apparently I'm very good at just, like, for talking an hour to myself about myself which is you know i guess uh, everyone could probably see that coming <laughs> you know if anyone could keep like a consecutive a thousand day uh, a thousand day sort of video log in animal crossing uh consecutively then you know one hour which is basically just sort of like well actually it was one hour 20 so but like four episodes in a row should be no big deal actually now i think about it i also need to pre-record some animal crossing episodes because i'm going to be busy on the weekend and i'm going to be busy on thursday so you know, then that I'll have to sort of fit in, but it, it's fine. The final art, I'm pretty sure, will be done, um, and then I'll record um, another probably Animal Crossing episode much later today. Well, we'll see. Maybe even two if I've got time for it. But I've also, you know, got my games to play and that sort of thing, which I like to do. You know, got to keep everything balanced and juggled uh, as you go. Um, yeah, I, I don't. So I, I guess we're gonna have a sort of like reflect back on a thousand days. A thousand days is actually quite a long time. You know, I mean, you never really think about it, but a thousand days is sort of three years almost. And if anything, you know, it, looking at the number itself, you're just sort of like, whoa, this commitment is crazy. How did you, you know, do a thousand days? But really, like, you know, any, little and often every single day, you know, it's, it's only like half an hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes every single day. That's not that much. I'm not going to say everyone can spare 20 minutes to 30 minutes because that's just definitively not true. At least for me and my place in my life, I can spare 20. Uh, I can spare probably a lot more than 20 minutes to 30 minutes, which is why, you know, I'm taking advantage of it while I can. While, you know, later on in life, probably, you know, when other sort of things become much more pressing issues, you know, like having a fa starting a family or something, then I'd, I'd imagine certainly I'd <laughs> very quickly run out of time. Um, but yeah, it's the sort of thing where it's like, you know, I, I guess it's kind of a testament. You, like, I'm trying to think how to properly express what I'm thinking. Sort of like whenever you like want to start a hobby or something, you know, there's always a big um, sort of 
Invisible Wall, which is just sort of like, oh, you know, I, I can't do it because like, think, and I need to spend so much time to get like anywhere remotely good. How long, how long is that going to take? I can't do that. That's like, it's, it's never going to happen. But then, you know, I, I suppose it's really sort of changed my outlook on life. You know, it, it's something you internalize being like a thousand hours. It's only like two years or something that is going to pass in a blink of an eye. So if you want to start anything, if you want to do something, you should start it as soon as you possibly can. And then, you know, because the time will pass very quickly, you know, want to start drawing? Just start drawing, you know, two years will pass, and like, if you draw a little sketch every single day, you're going to do a thousand sketches over two years, that's crazy, like, over two and a bit years, that's crazy, like, a thousand seems like such a big number, I suppose, in, in this, in, like, time scale of, like, human significance, but, as always, depending on what units you use, <laughs> you know, either it is or it isn't, and, yeah, it's just, it's just weird to think about, you know, because, <laughs> like, it, it's or it's also like a similar sort of feeling to I don't, I don't even know if I could probably describe this but basically um at least for me personally all my eight all my ages from about 18 to 21 ish felt the same and then every age from 21 to about now has also felt the same which might feel weird to say um if you are younger than 18 or like 21 or whatever but if you're certainly I'd imagine if you're older than 21 you're like you're just like absolutely you know all my 20s felt like the exact same age, and all your 30s to 50s will feel exactly the same, and the rest of your life feels exactly the same. Um, so it's it's the sort of thing where sometimes I think to myself, you, you know, like, what age am I? Obviously, I'm 25, but if I think, like, intrinsically, if, like, for your pure instinct, what age am I? I'm just, like, I don't know, like, somewhere in, like, 22 or something? I don't really know. I mean, you think about it a bit more, and I'm like, oh, I'm not 22. <laughs> Although, saying that, there was one time I thought I was 28 or something <laughs> at one point which you know I, I don't really know what that says in my mind but it's the same thing with like um a day a thousand animal crossing if you ask me like oh what day of animal crossing are you on and intrinsically in my head like my gut instinct is like oh i'm probably at like 500 or something and then you know it was like oh you're actually on double that you're literally on a thousand and i was like well 500 i thought was a bit of an overestimate if anything and obviously like it, it doesn't logically make sense but it's not meant to logically make sense what i'm describing is just sort of like an intrinsic feeling of what episode I'm on of Animal Crossing what episode I'm on for a lot of things and it's just like oh you know it's completely mismatched like I think I'm on like episode 40 or something on Amari it feels like I'm on like episode 16 or something <laughs> but obviously that's a much smaller scale but I don't know Animal Crossing it's just it's just weird like it, it it feels unreal which is weird because it's like the realest thing because it's like you know like um like, how, how do I put this? Like, it, it feels like it's an impossible feat. It feels like completely out of grasp. But when you think about this, it's like, it's only like doing something every day for two years. Like, obviously, uh, for a lot of things, that'd be, you know, well commended. Like, if you exercised every day for two years, whoa, that's incredible. And a lot of things, like anything which is good for you, I suppose, which you do for two years in a row, um, is commendable. And, but it, it's just like, if you actually put it in like those sort of words, you're just like, oh, I, that, that's actually like supremely achievable, isn't it? <laughs> So what I mean by the fact is sort of like started to change my outlook on things. I'm not going to say it's completely like switched my outlook on things, but it, it has made me sort of like reflect on myself being like, you know, I'm, I'm not sure there's any good reason I can say for, oh, for something being like unfeasible anymore. Uh, like obviously something like, do I have a time for it? I suppose is a, a one question or another, or do I have the energy for it? But um, just like for a sense of scale of, um, sorry, hold on. Because it also relates to time, so this sentence I'm about to say it doesn't make sense. Like, do do I have literally the, the mi on the micro level the time for it versus do I have the macro level time commitment to it? It's like that the macro level commitment. Just like I don't know, it just it. I don't think it could be an excuse for me anymore after sort of like reflecting on the fact that how easy it was just to do like two hundred days. No, that's not right. <laughs> two years and a bit straight of um Animal Crossing. It's just like I don't know, and it's really hard to put into words what I'm thinking. Or that, that sort of feeling I got from after, you know, recording Day 1000. It's sort of just like, wow, I I can't believe how quickly time has flown, for one. But also, I can't believe I did that. And I can't believe how it felt like nothing, in, in a sense. Obviously, it's kind of like looking back with rose tinted glasses. It, there, there was probably, you know, a decent amount of effort put into this entire thing. You know, like thumbnails and, you know, it's not just Animal Crossing episodes. There's a, a lot of other things at the same time, you know, and, and it is still a long-term commitment in the end. Um, I shouldn't, like... I shouldn't try and sort of like nullify the, the, the persistence I suppose I put into it. Persistence not really very well, but nullify the sort of like perseverance I had and nullify the diligence I suppose I had um, in it in the first place. But it just, 
there's like a weird sort of sense of detachment I have from it, which is weird because I didn't feel it with the other milestones. When I reached day 100, I was like, oh, you know, that was sort of like inevitability. And when I reached one year, I was like, oh, that just kind of happens. And then year two was basically like a complete blur compared to year one. But for some reason, hitting this a thousand milestone, I think it's because we've added another digit. Um, it went now into the four digit range instead of a three digit range. I'm just like, it feels just completely alien. It feels like, not like I've ascended per se, because that's obviously ridiculous but it's like I've, I've hit another like sense of enlightenment with regards to time commitment I suppose which I'm, I'm not sure if I had before I'm not sure if like I fully grasp you know how long or how short really like a, th a thousand days is like 500 hours I guess that's how short it really is and even more interestingly if they say that um, to become a master of something you had to do something roughly for like 10,000 hours and then it's just like you know but there's a lot of diminishing returns I suppose for mastery or something you could become like a pretty good like expert or something probably within like 2,000 I'd imagine and it's just like that final 2,000 to 8,000 is crazy so if you think about it I'm kind of like on, on my way there to being like an expert in recording Animal Crossing episodes daily or something <laughs> isn't that weird to think about um that's obviously you know sort of like I'm working like more of a logarithmic scale rather than um a linear scale because I don't think it's entirely linear and uh, what you get back from it but I, I just really can't encapsulate the sort of strange feeling it was especially to make that day a thousand thumbnail art and be like whoa I'm putting a fourth number onto his thumbnail art and then making like the, the next a thousand day thumbnail arts and being like well I actually had to shrink the numbers because they're too big now <laughs> it's just it's so weird it's sort of like if I saw it like on a news article or something I'd be like oh you know that's cool commitment but the experiencing it tangibly through something I've done is weird. Like, I, I was reading this thing about this person who's sat, like, um, who's got, like, the longest running D&D campaign of, like, 30 years or something going on. Like, just looking at the numbers on, on the pages, I was just like, wow, 30 years, that's, a, like, a long time, but you don't, you don't really think much more of it. But then, you know, I bet if you've actually done that campaign and you hit that 30 year, like, anniversary or something, you sort of just sit back and you try and be like, not in a, in a way that's like, I can't believe what I've done with my life, being like, whoa, I can't believe I've achieved this with my life. I can't believe this is, I can't believe this has kept going. That's that sort of feeling, you know? It's sort of like, um, you know, when you're a kid or a teenager, certain things hit differently, right? You know, you, you see things, you read about things, you know, you, you like, I, I think which thing which always comes to mind is things about like, you have stories um to do with like family. Like, I mean, this one is so distinctive in my mind, is this, um there's uh, one of the people at like Achievement Hunter or Rooster Teeth, I, I don't remember which one it is, but uh, the trailer for Dead Island involves um, a really like moving, poignant um, trailer from a perspective of uh, someone's young uh, daughter and the process of uh, death because of a zombie invasion or whatever. I mean, I remember one of one of the people in, in Rooster Teeth Achievement Hunter, like called Jeff, who was like a recent father at the time or something, watching it, and they filmed his reaction to it. Don't know why, but and he just could not finish it. And at the time when that came out, I was like 12 or something. So, uh, you know, I watched the trailer being like, I don't get really what's a big idea. And like, I guess, yeah, I guess it's, like, it's sad, obviously, but it's not like a whole big deal. But now I'm getting older, you know, I'm thinking about like, you know, what would my future be like or if I had children, etc., etc. You know, I bet if I go watch that trailer, I'm like, it's going to hit completely different because, you know, the new experiences I've gained has gained me a whole new perspective on that sort of thing. That's basically what I'm saying. So basically I'm saying I'm completely superior to everyone else because I've done a thousand days of Animal Crossing. I'm joking, obviously, <laughs> but it's sort of just like... Whenever you've done something and committed to doing something for such a long time, um, whenever you sort of sit back and reflect and be like, wow, look how far I've come, it's crazy. But it's even weirder to do it in this sort of for Animal Crossing because it's something I've got like, not only do I have tangible proof, you can go back and watch any single day and see that like, the dis not the distance, but what I was doing on that, what I was talking about, what was on my mind. I, I have like literal evidence of every single day and every single minute I spent um, doing with some, um, uh, clearly you two having a bit of a private moment, so, um, <laughs> uh, you know, girls just being girls, uh, let's leave Safa and a friend alone, um, but yeah, um, it's just so weird seeing, it's not weird, but like it's so indescribable, ha like not only putting a number to it, but like a physical or well, digital, I suppose, like an actual representation of the effort you put in, like, you know, and I never really thought about it, like, when, when I, when I, I don't know, studied maths, it'd be like, maths technically I studied for, like, how many years, um, 
you know, and then at the end of it, I got like a degree and whatever, you know, that, that's sort of just like, oh, it's like a testament to my hard work. But it, it feels completely different. Like if, if you like, oh, you get your degree and here's how many hours you spent studying maths and you put like a number to it. Um, and, and it was like 10, not, not 10,000, but someone like uh, 2,000 hours or something. I'd be like, whoa, that's crazy. But then it's completely different again if you were just like, okay, here's not only like how, how many hours you spent doing maths, here's like a recording of you like actually you know, like studying with us here's like the written or all, all your written like homeworks and problems you've solved compiled into a book together and you gave it to me and it was like it is like an eight book anthology or something i'd be like whoa that's crazier and even crazier is if you like slowly increment that anthology i suppose day by day you know i, I, I put like a new page in like my ring binder or something every single day for every single like maths piece of homework i'd done or something and then like i don't know the feeling of holding it at the end just hits hits a little different i suppose what i'm basically saying is quantifying things and your achievements i suppose as you go on makes it feel like once you finally hit like a big milestone it's like at least personally for me it felt like it hit a lot if it's hit a lot harder like i'm just sort of like whoa the building up to this quantifiable amount is crazy to even think about it's it's not even like a mind-blowing feat i've done or anything it's not like a thousand hours doing something that's like, not even a thousand hours, or five hundred hours doing something is all that crazy. But it just, it feels so strange, you know, to say, yeah, I've recorded ten, a thousand days of Animal Crossing. You gave me a Cosmos wand? I think it probably means you, we've had all the, spa uh, the space themed items then, right? There's no way you gave me a Cosmos one as um as one of the space furniture items. Well, uh, all the ones we can get. I don't think we got all the astrology based ones, but I think we must be close. Oh yeah, it, it totally looks like we got. No, we don't have a lamp. We haven't got the star lamp. You gave me the Cosmos one. So what are we missing? Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. We're missing Virgo. No, Virgo's a harp. Yeah, Virgo harp. Libra. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aqua, Aquarius, Capricorn. Wait a minute. What are we in right now? Oh, when Sagittarius just yes, still. When when Aquarius like in three days time, right? So that's probably why we didn't get the Aquarius urn. Okay. Yeah. Um. That's basically all I really wanted to say. It's just like it's so weird having a quantifiable achievement and not not only is it quantifiable it's provably quantifiable and you can see literally all the evidence of it like it's just like the, the digital record of having a youtube channel of like a thousand days of animal crossing episodes is so weird like i'm not gonna go back and watch any of it and honestly i don't think anyone ever will like i i i i, I literally bet though not not okay, maybe i won't literally bet but i i don't think i would ever be a person who would who can be like I've watched every single one of the Animal Crossing episodes you make, and for good reason, that's like way too many episodes, but like even me, like living through them, every single one, it's still like weird to see them. It, I guess it's kind of weird to see it like laid out on my YouTube channel and be like, whoa, I, I created all of that. <laughs> Is it amazing? Is it the best thing you've ever seen? Is that super entertaining? No, but you know, it's what I did. So it's sort of just like, I guess there's a sense of pride in it, isn't there? Like a, a strange sense of pride, not like a twisted sense of pride, just like a, huh. I, I can't believe this came to pass sort of way, you know? I can't believe that things led to this moment is basically what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, um, I, mean, I mean, yesterday I already got out most of my thank yous and that sort of thing. This is just, uh, this is a very self-indulgent episode where I just, like, I wanted to really talk about that feeling I got after, like, stopping recording that day of thousand. It's just like, I don't know, it, it's a very indescrib indescribable feeling, in the words of Jasmine from Aladdin. Um... But it's a very unique situation, and even weirder, it's like, you know, it's I'm, I'm absolutely not going to feel this, like, at all, if I ever hit, like, day 2000. Despite the fact it's the same amount of days have passed, it's going to feel completely, completely like, inconsequential, I suppose, in comparison to this day 1000 feeling. And I, I guess the next time I feel that feeling will be day 10,000, which would be, like, 20 years. I, I'm not playing Animal Crossing New Horizons for 20 years. Hopefully by then, at least in New a, a different Animal Crossing's come out and then we can start all over again. But it's so weird. Is it weird? I don't know. You might be listening to this right now being like, 
Dear Darling's gone absolutely crazy. Like, why Why is she... Oh, it's almost 20 minutes, so I guess we'll round, the, round up. But, like, why has why she got, like, such... Not intense emotions, I suppose. Like, and, you know, it's very clearly not very intense emotions. But, like, it's such a weird... Such a very unique emotion. A, a unique sort of sense of sentimentality, I suppose, looking back on it. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this either. But I just... It, it just is what it is, you know? And it's so strange that, you know... This is the first time I'm actually properly feeling it. Like, a milestone is, I suppose, what felt quite insignificant, I suppose. Before, they were just sort of like, oh, you know, here, here it is. I'm, I'm doing a milestone celebration for the sake of it. But this one, it feels like, oh, I don't know. I guess it ended up being a bit more personal to me, in a sense. And probably that's partially tied together with the fact that I did a very personal celebration with a QA. and a So, who knows? Anyway, I hope you, you know, you've liked whatever episodes you've seen on Animal Crossing. You know, you, even if you watched or if you didn't watch for Day of Thousand, go, go do so. You can ask other questions, you know, um, about me and I'll answer it. And maybe in the future, you know, maybe you'll, maybe it'll be like Day 3000 or something and people will still be asking me questions on that and, you know, I will be answering them. Who knows? Um, but for now, I'm going to round off this episode here. So thank you once again. I hope we can see each other again. But for now it's our No, hold on. <laughs> This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, greatly appreciated. Discord, Twitter down one below. That's how I end up with those. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, thank you and bye-bye for now. <laughs>